Hey everybody, uh, just wanted to do a video on how to install a double switch. Um, I came across this uh, recently where basically I had, um, I had a regular single pole switch that was just going directly to a vanity light and, and that was it and this was in the bathroom. So what our project was was to install um, a ceiling fan um, but also have a double switch so one will turn on this fan will turn on this uh, ceiling light slash fan and then one will turn on the vanity light um, and it's it's definitely very self-explanatory but if you've it never come across or never done it before it can get a little weird um, so the first thing you're going to do is I have a picture here of what the double switch looks like. Um, so you have your two switches um, where the power feed is going to come on and these are the the wires to where they're going to go to each light and then the ground where obviously the ground feed is going to go. So just to make this as simple as possible, I know I don't have like an actual visual display. Um, you know, I wish I did record it, but it, it, the area was so small and so forth and I'm not the greatest designer here, so I just kind of did my best. Um, so the first thing you're you're gonna want to do is pull out, and obviously this is not life size. This is not a realistic size. It's just that size to show you. You're gonna have an individual switch in the wall. That individual switch can be pulled out completely. So then, when that individual switch is pulled out, all that's gonna be left is basically the main power feed which I have shown here so that's coming up from the fuse box these you know they're all in one cord in the one Romax wire the neutral uh, the hot and the ground so those will be sitting there and you'll also have the pair from whichever light um, those ro those wires are coming from so in our case we are the vanity light was already hooked up so then we had those wires were now in that box as well uh, loose so now we have an empty um, light switch box um, and we have the main power feed wires and we have the wires from the vanity light um, just sitting there um, and now you know long what we had to do was install a it was a um, ceiling light uh, slash exhaust fan so I mean but it's still installed the same way it's just as if it were a ceiling light so you know we did the measurements what we had to do put the ceiling light in um, and then we just had it ready to go from there um, we had to get um, an additional uh, Romax cord so these that's what these are representing this is our new Romax cord and that also we had to feed that into um, into the light box uh, into the switch box as well so now in the switch box we have the main power feeds in here the vanity light wires are in the switch box and the ceiling light wires are also in the switch box and they're all just sitting there loosely together um, so the first thing that I did was number one attach the main power source where it's coming from the fuse box to either one of the black screws that you see either one of the black terminals that you see doesn't matter which one just put it on one tighten it you're good to go uh, attach the main power feed of the ground onto the ground on the um, light switch and tighten that um, and then actually I think this should be the next step is from all of the neutrals the neutrals that come from the ceiling fan, the, the ceiling light and the vanity light, those are all going to be attached together. So you're going to you know, try and cooperate them as best you can into a wire nut, uh, tighten that and tape that up. So now what you have left is basically the line which is going to feed the power to each light, which is the, uh, the bronze. So you're going to have the bronze that was already, the bronze that's on the double light switch, um, which is the black uh, wire is going to go feed into the black wire in the um, vanity light 
and once again wire nutted and taped and then <clears throat> from there so that one's pretty much good and then you as long as you just ground that ground wire um, I pretty much had these you can you can ground it to anything so you can ground it to a piece of metal in the box um, it doesn't matter uh, and the same goes for the ceiling light you can ground that wire um, in you can ground that wire in the box as well so um, and in this case this one actually did have a um, a grounding wire built in with the ceiling fan so that's you know this grounding wire is grounded with that and then this is grounded to metal and then like I said all three neutrals neutral from the ceiling light neutral from the vanity light neutral from the main feed are connected together they are, they will not be put on the light switch at all and then last but not least you have the black feed the hotline coming from the bronze on the double switch going to the black wire on the ceiling light um, wire nut that tape that and you should be good it's a it seems like this complicated thing but it is so simple um, and if you want me to even just write down the directions on you know in um, in the description I will um, but it is it is super easy um, it's not this crazy elaborate thing that you have to do the, the most difficult thing you have to do and it's not even that difficult is um, is to run a, is to run a wire um, from this from the new whichever light you're putting in where you want to have the double switch you which in our case was a ceiling light you want to run that wire you know behind the wall and coming down to the uh, to the switch box uh, but other than that it's really self-explanatory I know this um, the, this drawing isn't the greatest um, but it was the the simplest that I could uh, that I could come up with so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this like I said any questions or comments leave them below um, I'll answer them to the best of my ability um, if you need anything with you know stripping wires and, and so forth and using multimeters um, just give me a heads up all right see you guys